Welcome to Draping Blind Software Previews. Do you want to take the hard work out of curtain quoting? In this video, I will show you how easy it is to do a curtain quote for four windows in less than 10 minutes. To begin, click on Quotes and Jobs. This is our customer database. Today, I will be using an existing customer. If I click on the smiley face icon, you can see all the details there for Lana Del Rey. We're going to create a new quote for Lana. The first screen that you see here is our location screen. So I need to assign some locations and also some product. So I've got a drop down box here. I've already got locations that I've previously put in. You can of course create your own as you go ahead. So I am going to be putting some curtains in the bedrooms and also in the dining room. Over here we have our dimension screen. This gives you the ability to record all window dimensions if you need to. Um, typically you could be walking around the house with an iPad, doing your measurements and popping them into this screen. The curtains, I'm going to be using the treatment width and drop uh, measurement, which is typically the area that you want um, the curtain to cover. So my first bedroom is going to be 1400 wide with a 2130 drop. Control on the left. Toggle down here to the second bedroom. It's going to be slightly wider. Third bedroom. and also the dining room, which will be three meters wide. Drape and Blind software also comes in inches. So today I'm putting in millimeters, but you can use inches. Now we need to assign some treatments to our location. So I'm only going to do one um, because I'm going to be use the, using the copy function. So. I'll pop a curtain up there against um, the first window. Now we're going to jump straight into the actual quote. So this is our curtain quoting um, screen. Over here we have um, the maker. So my default maker is BQ Design. The system comes populated with all your, your suppliers, fabric, curtain makers as well as blind suppliers you can change from the default if you need to. I'm going to pick my style of curtain which is the double pinch pleat lined um, curtain over there. Now you just go through and fill in all the boxes. So the first one is the fabric. With James Dunlop we have all their fabrics at colour level. You'll see here the systems automatically put in the width um, and the pattern repeat. You don't have to carry around sample books because it's done it for you. I'm going to also select um, my lining. And then we go over here to the manufacturing details. So I'm going to be making a pair of curtains today. I'll go over here to my treatment um, dimensions box and double click on the dimension I'd put in earlier. My fitting method is going to go on the architrave and now I just need to put in my return sizes and overlap size. Now if you don't do overlaps you just put in zero there. If you are using tapes um, you can put in your tape size there and also the distance between the top of the tape and the top of the curtain. I've got returns going on both sides but you do have other options and you can also select your hooks and also your track supplier. I'm going to be doing a single track today and you'll see there that the track measurement has automatically come across from the treatment width which was the finished width that I put in earlier. If you need to specify the track height for installation you can pop that in there as well. I'm going to be selecting a stackless single cord um, track. If 
And you notice over here that we have a installation cost button which is already green. Well that just means the program my system to put in the installation costs in there automatically for me. That way I won't forget. So we've done our first curtain and all we need to do is click on the calc button and you'll see here that the system has worked out that our cut lengths are 2560. We need three widths of fabric and um, the amount required is 7.68. So now I need to just copy all those details over to the other three rooms. So I'm going to use the simple copy function that we have here and copy all the details over to bedroom two, three in the dining room. Double click on my width and drop and click on copy. And that's how easy it was to create the other three windows. All I did was copy all the details across and the system made all the calculations for me. So you'll see in bedroom two, we now need 10.24 meters of fabric because the treatment width was two meters. We are now ready to issue the quote to the customer. But before we do that, we're going to double check the costs, our markups and also our sale price. So we can look at this at room level. So you'll see the buy price there for the fabric, the lining and the manufacturing. And over here we have our markup percentage and also our sell, including tax. We can view the quote total. So if I click on that button, you can see all the rooms added up we have our buy price there and also our sell price. So this looks quite healthy to me, so I'd be happy to issue that to the customer. But before I do that, I'm going to add some additional charges. Um, I'm going to put in a call out um, fee of $50. Um, at the same time, I also know that the customer has got some competitive quotes. So I'm going to issue a competitive discount. Now you can create your own discounts if you wish. Um, so you can put in a dollar value. Um, the system then calculates the percentage. You might want to round that off and say, look, we're going to put in 3%. The system calculates the dollar value for you. You also have the ability to go here and put in other discounts for fabric or lining. Um, if you are having promotions and, and, and things like that. So now we're going to issue the quote. Line software has quite a few different types of um, quote styles. So the first one I'm going to show you is the summary quote. Now these can be printed out or emailed. So up the top here, we'll have your logo on the right hand side. We've got all the details, the invoice, the date, etc. the consultant. Down here, we have the customer details and here are the quote details. So for this summary quote, it's pretty simple. It's just got bedroom one, two and three and just the um, product there and the cost on the right hand side. So we've got a group total for the bedroom and then a total there for the dining room. You'll see over here that the um, call out fee has been applied with tax and also the discount that we'd um, issued as well. If you think that this quote's a little bit too simple, we can use the itemized quote. Over here, you can see that there is a little bit more detail. So the customer knows that they're being quoted on a double pinch pleat lined curtain. The fabric's are Dell charcoal, that's the lining and also the track detail there as well. We go over to the next page and we have our terms and conditions there as well. There are other options to choose from. If you don't like um, any of these, we can customize your own quote for you as well at no extra cost. 
With all of our quotes, you can hide dollars at room level or remove cents, um, display figures without tax, uh, etc. One more thing before we go, I'm going to show you how easy it is to change a fabric. So let's pretend that um, the customer has decided to change their mind and they don't want that fabric anymore. So with DBS, you can go into the fabric change area, select your fabric and change it. So I'm now going to be selecting a new supplier We'll say it's bluebell grey and I'm going to pick abstract multi. Click on change fabric and all my fabrics have been changed and everything has been recalculated. So you can see here how flexible um, the system is and how much time you are going to save. So just before we go, we'll have a quick look at the quote with the new fabric. And you can see there, we've got the abstract multi there instead of the other fabric. Thank you for taking the time to watch the Drape and Blind software curtain quote video. Call us for more information or for a closer look at the system, book a demonstration today.